Okay guys, next we're going to be wiring up our spindle. So there were a few changes to the configuration of my particular VFD because the C25 XP is slightly different from the C11GS. So with the C25 XP you, you need uh, you don't need to supply it with a source voltage. Uh, it will automatically put out 0 to 10 volts. So for your spindle inputs, refer to your VFD manual. But on my particular VFD, uh, I'm going to just be using T1 here and T2. This is our 0 volts and our 0 to 10 volts. I no longer am going to be using this supply voltage here. Also, down here, B2, this is our 24 volts out. And this is going over to our enable relay. And then we're going to jumper it over to our forward and reverse relays. That's going to supply power for the switches here. So what we have is the enable re relay will send power to the enable reset. It will also send power to B7. B7 tells the VFD that we're going to be using uh, 0 to 10 volts. Then we have from relay number one, we're going to have our forward, and relay number two, we're going to have our reverse. So let's get these wired in. So the first thing we're going to do is let's just wire in our zero and ten volts. So we have our zero volts here on our green wire. And then our 0 to 10 volts is our yellow wire here. We'll probably have to adjust our potentiometer right here. Um, we'll do that later on. Alright. Okay, so we've wired in our 0 and 10 volts. And it's going to go up here to our VFD. Let's see if you can see that right here uh, 0 volts and A1 is our 10 volts and next let's wire in our red wire here the red wire is B2 and B2 is our 24 volts going to our relays so all I've done here is just taken and made uh, some jumpers here and so we'll run it over to our uh, voltage in which is our center terminal on each of the relays now this takes advantage of the safety charge pump function Okay, get this wire tucked under here, there we go. Alright, so now we've supplied uh, 24 volts to our enable relay, which is relay 3, our reverse, and our forward relay. So next we want to connect B4. B4 is our enable reset circuit. This is coming from our safety charge pump enable relay which is relay number three and that's going to be connected on our normally open set of contacts. And B4 is our blue wire. So that'll be connected here to our relay number three 
normally open. Okay. And then we have our forward and reverse. So our forward is B5. We'll go up to our first relay and B5 is our white wire. And then last we have our black wire which is our reverse and that will go to relay number two again on the normally open side. Okay guys, the last thing we need to do is our servo communications for X, Y, Z, and C. I'm not going to add a A axis at this time, but I do have a spot there for adding a fourth axis later. So, what we need to do first is we need to enable our servo motors. And the blue and orange wires on the servo motors are our enable circuit. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring that over to our safety charge pump on the C25XP. Our safety charge pump is port 2, pin 17. So we're going to connect our orange wire, which I've made into a red by tying them all together. And I've made them into a red wire. It's going to go... Um, Orange is going to go to our output port 2, pin 17. That's going to supply the common. And then we're going to pick up our voltage on our blue wire. which I've also tied together. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So I've tied my blue wires together here and it's going to come over to our terminal board, our C25 5 volts here. We're going to tie, uh, tie this into there. Looks like I've, I'm out of spots again, so Okay, so what I've done is I just connected the 5 volts going over to my solid state relay to activate that, and I just tied it together to supply 5 volts for my enable circuit. I don't like to do that. I would rather have them all on separate terminals. However, I don't have any more space for another terminal block, so there we go. So now I've supplied my 5 volts and tied all the enable circuit together. And I ran the other side over to pin 17. So, all right, so looking at the clear path pin out here, the blue wire is going to our 5 volts, and 8 is going to pin 17, our enable circuit. Okay, so next we need to just start wiring up each of the servo motors connections. And we're going to start out, you can see that pin 7 and 6 are tied together. That is a yellow and brown wire, and that is our common our step and direction. Now this is a little bit different than it was from our old setup. In our old setup on the C11GS we had the white and the black tied together but this time we're going to be tying the negative side together. So that is our brown and our yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bring each one of these to the ground. So this is our x-axis, which will be pins 2 and 3, and we're going to bring the brown and the yellow to ground.
And then next we've got our step and direction. And that is going to be black wire on two and the white wire on pin three. And then that wraps up all of our connections for each axis. So black wire two, white wire pin three. and pin 3. So now we have our x-axis wired up and I'm just going to go along here and do each axis. So next would be our Y. Again Y, brown and yellow are going to go to four and five ground. So we've got four or five ground here. And then black is going to go to four. And then white is going to go to five. That's our Y. Then we've got our Z axis. Our Z axis is six and seven. So we've got six, seven, and ground. So our brown and yellow will go to the ground. Black will go to six. And white will go to seven. Like so. Then we're going to skip a section for our A axis, which is eight and nine. And then we're going to do uh, one and 17. Not to be confused with port two pin 17, which is our safety charge pump. These are all for the axes right here in this outport pin one, I mean port one outputs. So we're skipping eight, nine and ground and then we're doing one, 17 and ground. Make sure I've got that right. Eight, nine ground, one, 17 and ground, okay. And then black goes to one. And one goes to 17. All right. So I'll tuck these away. I'm going to route these over to this side and I'm going to route these over to this side. Now one last thing, the enable circuit, we need to enable the M26 board. It has this enable pin here and what I've done is just like I did with the C11GS, I just ran a jumper. So it's going to output 5 volts and send it straight to the enable board. and. Uh, as long as this board's got powered, it will, power, it will be enabled. So whenever uh, I'm in a preset situation, it'll have enable, be enabled. Uh, it's just the relay, so I didn't see any need to tie it to the enable circuit for the safety charge pump. However, you could do that. All right, let me get this tidied up, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, well, that wraps up the wiring everything's back together you can see it looks a little lot cleaner once you get the wire covers on everything um, there is a lot of wiring going on uh, up here but uh, I think overall it looks really nice so I will double check all my wiring then I'll do a quick review 
of all the wiring for you guys and then next we'll power it up and get everything configured guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down below that way when I post a new video if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always guys please feel free to ask questions make suggestions or leave comments thanks for watching the video thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and most importantly be safe